good morning students welcome to the next session regarding the discussion and working of an next bowler known as a lancashire bowler many of you said me that uh, you have a problem in drawing uh, the sketch of this lancashire bowler in the previous blackwalk and wilcox bowler we had drawn only the front view because in that single view we could understand the working of that all the entire bowler there but here in this case for the lancashire bowler you need to draw all the three views see this is the front view of this lancashire bowler this is the top view of the lancashire bowler and this is the side view of the lancashire bowler now how to draw the sketch initially you have to draw the sketch from the front view itself if you can see here this is the boiler shell this is the boiler shell inside this boiler shell there is a tube this is a tube and within this tube this is a furnace where you can see there is a fuel being combusted and the hot gases are passing through these tubes and this is the first direction and it gets deviated to move into the second direction already they have given the names also that is the bottom central channel this is the first channel if you observe from the side view what you can see is this boiler shell it looks like this you can see here only one tube behind this there is another the same kind of tube you cannot see in the front view but if you come for the side view you can see there are two tubes and these two tubes you can see in this sketch they are submerged in the water itself you can see this is the water which means this is the entire water the same level of water which is shown here in the side view also and this space which you are seeing here it is the space where the steam is being collected so initially you should draw the sketch with the help of the front view itself then this is the exit passage for the steam to escape so this is the brickwork this is the brickwork and these are the things if you see from the side view the brickwork you can see it is in this fashion these are this is one side channel this is another side channel and this is the bottom channel if you come to the top view you can see here in the top view if you observe carefully this is uh, the boiler shell you can see here which is mounted here you can see just the hot gases they are coming in this direction and it is been deviated on the two sides which you can see here in the side view so initially you should draw with the front view take its projections downwards draw the top view and the projections to the other side you will get the side view now the working of this one the lancashire bowler if you are observing here what you can see it is also a stationary boiler right then if you observe here it is also having some two tubes but here within these tubes what is present the hot gases are present which are being circulated in these tubes so it is an fire tube boiler within which the hot gases are produced and the tube gases are passing through these tubes and these hot gases they are transforming their heat to the water present outside of these tubes you can see here this is the water which is being present so therefore the lancashire boiler is a fire tube boiler and the furnace if you observe here where it is present this is the boiler shell inside this boiler shell this furnace is present here so it is an internally fired boiler internally fired stationary fire tube boiler so we are also having the same parts which we have studied in the babcock and wilcox boiler that is there is a steam stop valve safety valve the furnace door through which the fuel is been taken off is inside is uh, taken inside ash pit for the collection of ash blow off valve to see that if there are any mud particles present in the water it is taken under the help of the blow off valve then the furnace grid for the combustion purpose we are having one bottom channel and two side channels which are responsible for the controlling the flow of the hot gases when they come out of these tubes 
and if you observe the top view again we have the same things itself that is you can see the side channels bottom central channel and then they are taking the rear exit passage to move outside towards the chimney the working is very simple here also the hot gases which they are present here they start to give away their heat to the water which is surrounded by these the tubes the water absorbs the heat and the formation of the steam occurs due to which the steam gets separated and collects in this space here also you can see here in this picture even the water level how much it is filled here also it is also almost the fourth portion itself you can see the fourth portion it is filled once the hot gases they pass and come of this come out of these tubes we are creating some passages or the channels you can see side channel 1 side channel 2 and even the bottom channel the purpose is to see that before it is sent outside of this exit passage maximum amount of heat is again used for heating the water itself that is the reason that for coming from this the channels it is being passed to three this uh, total three channels to see that maximum of amount of heat is utilized from these hot gases for the formation of steam and once the steam is being developed then the extra amount of gases they are taken under the help of this rare exit passage thank you students